Hey guys, welcome back to Filter Coffee Football. Talking about Southampton game. Wow, everything is just. I'm glad you're here because we need some sort of positivity in this right now. Because I am <laughs> completely tapped out. Um, I figured. I figured. It's been a while <laughs> since I saw you. Uh, 31 games played, seven more games to go. Four points clear right now. Manchester City with one game in hand as it stands. We have every chance and every. We need to go into that game on Wednesday next week. uh with uh, with a seven point lead that's that's the bare minimum for us and then we still need to do a lot more after that so let's talk about the southampton game what are your thoughts southampton almost certainly in that relegation mire right now this game is at the emirates so i'm not really stressed about it as much but we need to make sure that we don't switch off our engines after we go maybe 1-0 or 2-0 up that being said I want to see a change in the approach that we have for our game. The biggest problem which has been shutting down at different points or trying to do something way too much and not working out. For example, the first goal that we conceded against West Ham, the penalty, the move before the penalty where Thomas Partey tries to like flick it over Declan Rice right, but yeah, he is in good cheeky yes tried to go very cheeky and it did hit his hand too which the referee didn't obviously call so we shouldn't do that we should just clear the ball out i mean you cannot play such moves that close to the box again that's a lapse in concentration after going 2-0 up this is something that we wouldn't be doing if it was 0-0 or maybe even 1-0 but or or even just a co- an opposition that we maybe thought had exactly. the capacity to come back against right exactly exactly underestimating probably west ham but not liverpool i really <laughs> i'm yet to recover from that liverpool game to be very honest i that was a game we should have won we could have won but we just led them into the game Uh yeah I think the Southampton game should be pretty straightforward but we've kind of been there before twice done now <laughs> that's the funniest thing that I feel about this season is everybody has talked about Arsenal hitting a patch I don't think we've ever hit like a long patch but we have had many like dips you know right after we came back right. from the world cup it was those two back to back results that didn't go our way again right now we are seeing that sort of same lull come in Slow. where one I match I I I'm I with Liverpool I'm actually glad the more I think about that we came away with what we did because Liverpool had every opportunity to go ahead and win that game. West Ham again a game we probably should have put to bed and we did not. It, it's it's been weird. The, the only hope now is that Manchester City have a dip in them as well. Um but in the meantime we really need to do do our job because that's what I I spoke about when we recorded that when I recorded that video last time is We have put ourselves in the situation where we will have to go through and win the league in the hardest way possible, which <laughs> most likely is going to be going to the Etihad and winning the game at the Etihad. But yeah, we have to start with Southampton. We have to start with putting this game to bed. Zinchenko will be back. It seems like they're covering Saliba in cotton and wool. till that manchester city game everything covering him with, with everything that soft and comfortable which again comforted. feels like a risk to me because do you really want his first game back to be the game against manchester city right against again erling haaland who is in the form of his life at the exact right time in the season uh, i don't know I, i would much rather have sali like if they intend to play saliba against manchester city i'd much rather have him get some game time against southampton That, maybe 10 minutes at the end maybe 10 minutes at the end no no again. i mean he needs like a good 20 25 minutes on that he really needs to like get himself uh, uh, bedded into the game i feel like cuz it, it's it's you're asking way too much to come up right up against manchester city right when they're hitting the right form with only 10 minutes under your belt after uh, after an injury i again at this point i have to disagree because like saliba has been through a lot of games it's not that he's gone through a extended extended break it's been a break for what three games now at the most so i would think it's okay if he can play 10 15 at the most i don't want him to be even using 20% of his engine very honestly and again he's at 80% capacity at the most so i don't even want him using 20% of his energy and conserve it all for the city game if he makes it he makes it if he doesn't he doesn't i am not really looking forward to 
his prospect of playing the entire 90 against city either so i'm not really super optimistic about that i just want us to do well whoever is on the pitch is the best that we have on the pitch so i i'm just going to go with that yeah and i think the last thing that we really need to like just just the way you said changing our approach i think what we need to really hone in on is what is going wrong later on in games because up until i think up until like a few games after the world cup the issue was we were weak at the start but then making it up towards the end exactly it's flipped where we are making really good strong starts because even in that liverpool game the first 30 minutes we were easily the better team on the pitch and then we just lost it same thing against west ham we were in control for so much of the game till west ham got that penalty and then even though it was a much more even affair compared to liverpool but against west ham that should not be the case to begin with anyway we can't do the same thing against manchester city right because we can't go ahead and no way no way and we can't let them have control because we know what this manchester city team is capable of and then that starts with the southampton game is to go ahead early and then keep control of the game make sure you really shut this out we need we need a performance like we had against leicester where even though it was a 1-0 win it was a dominant 1-0 win where Leicester totally. had absolutely no chance in that game that's the only way i feel like we're going to be able to build the confidence going into that city game for us i'm completely in agreement with that and we just should not give southampton a sniff they have been a bogey team in the past i don't want them getting a sniff of anything they might be deemed towards relegation let them be i could not care less about them at this point in time Yeah, don't let James Ward Prowse anywhere near that penalty box. <laughs> Or have a dead ball. Yes, exactly. Uh but yeah, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Um is this should be a straightforward game, but what do you guys think about that Manchester City game? Is that going to be the title decider at this point in time? And do Arsenal still have what it takes to see this through and win that Premier League title? As always, please like, share and subscribe. We will see you guys next time.